24 hustle grind culture is toxic. It's toxic for entrepreneurs. It's toxic for business owners. It's toxic for you. I fucking hate it. And in this video, I want to talk about why you should not feel guilty about not working. Why hustle is a completely meaningless thug marketing word and thug marketing statement. Most people who hustle actually don't really know what they're doing. They're not going anywhere. And the grind doesn't need to be all day, every day, y'all. Hey guys, Mike here from Sell Your Service. Uh, I've actually got some free content down below on how to get more done every single day and enjoy doing it without waking up at 5 a.m. So a really nice, easy way to be able to understand what it is that you're working on. It's kind of part of my productivity is doing less, not doing more series. If you're a funnel builder, you should go ahead and subscribe. I produce new videos every single week helping funnel builders like you attract and close five-figure deals. In the meantime, let's talk about why 24-7 hustle culture is completely toxic. I see a a lot of hustle and grind content. You probably have seen it as well. Places like Instagram and Facebook, uh, YouTube adverts show all of that kind of shit about how, yeah, you're supposed to keep hammering away at it every day, keep grinding away every day. The reality is it is damaging to your motivation and it's damaging to your confidence. It's kind of like seeing someone who is able to go 24 hours a day and they talk about going 24 hours a day and constantly grinding away and doing all these amazing things. And then you look and you're like, I get tired after doing like four or five hours of work. I can't now, today, even now with my business, do a full eight hours without being absolutely exhausted. It's almost impossible to keep up that level of energy consistently. You will burn out. And the problem is that we keep being told that 24 seven hustle and 24 seven grind are the only ways to find success. It can maybe make you feel like you're not working. And frankly, in my opinion, it's a fucking huge waste of energy. You know, and I'm guilty of this. My background for my screen is work hard at working harder. A hamster on a wheel is working its balls off, just running around in a circle, but it's not getting anywhere. Grinding for 24 hours straight or seven days a week or 365 or whatever, and just doing work is A, impossible, and B, it's not as effective as you might think. Instead, what we should be looking at is effective tasks that elevate our business. What's interesting is I see a lot of posts on how people are hustling and grinding. I see a lot of people go onto like American TV shows or English TV shows or whatever. Now I love Shark Tank. I absolutely love the guys on Shark Tank. There's a lot about that. But a lot of the guys come on there and they talk about grinding and hustling 24 hours a day. And yeah, I'm, I'm constantly working. I'm constantly doing stuff. It's actually scarier to focus on one part of your business that's going to elevate your business rather than just doing work for the sake of it. Working hard for hard work's sake is not the way to a prosperous and profitable business. I love Sean Cannell. I'm a huge fan of Sean Cannell. And one of his things is rise and grind. Now, <laughs> Sean is a smart guy and I massively respect Sean and I understand what he means by rise and grind. Doing one thing over and over and over that you know is good for your business is very different to just expending energy for the sake of doing work. Sean's kind of coming from the area where you've got to wake up, you've got to make that video content, you've got to post it, you've got to do a lot of boring work. But the point is that you don't post about the boring work and you don't talk about how fucking brilliant you are by doing the boring work because that's cool running a business. But if you wake up and just do work either for other people or you're constantly thinking you're hustling and grinding when actually you're just being procrastinating, frankly. And I know for a fact that a lot of people who talk about hustling and grinding are procrastinating, partly because if you've got the fucking time to tell me about how you're hustling and grinding on Instagram, you're not doing real fucking work. Grind means doing something every single day, not just working for the sake of it. If you know deep in your heart, truly, and this almost comes down to faith, that producing one piece of video content a week and the best possible video content you can per week will increase your chances of running the business that you want to run or having the lifestyle that you want to have, then yeah, you absolutely need to do that. But you need to do it a thousand times. Grinding away and hustling at something for a week or two months or even six months or even a year isn't enough time to get the results from that. Creating blog content, creating video content, podcasts, promotions, emails, talking to people, networking, that's the grind. That's the boring pit that people don't want to talk about. And instead, people 
people like to talk about kind of almost the semi-glamorous, weird, almost semi-pornographic nature of grinding away and doing kind of hustle work, when really the stuff that keeps you quiet and humble and that you need to work on in the background, that's the true grind. That's what you should be working on. Don't fucking worry about what everyone else is talking about, how they're hustling 24-7, they're making all these deals happen. Most of them aren't making any deals happen. Instead, focus on tending your garden, tend your crop, instead of trying to work out how everybody else is tending theirs. Grinding for your business is an extremely powerful if it's directed in the right area, if you're doing it on the right things. Instead of trying to do everything for everyone. Focus on one area and do that repeatedly until you become a master at it. Grinding for other people's businesses is basically making them money. Also, one final thing, strategy or daydreaming and visualization is vastly undervalued and underrated. I've talked about this in another video. You should be spending more time in silence with no screens, no camera, no fucking phone, nothing like that. Just in total silence, in solitude, visualizing and imagining what you want your business to be. What do you want your life to be like? What do you want your, your future to become? That's undervalued because it's not doing work. Grinding and hustling is basically scratching that monkey brain part of the you know itch that you've got instead of thinking, how can I elevate myself above what everyone else is doing? What's your least tw favorite hustle grind 24 seven meme? Let me know in the comments below. Like I said, I've actually got some free training on how to get more done every single day without waking up at 5 a.m. and without being part of this 24 seven hustle grind culture bullshit. Uh, that's available down below. In the meantime, guys, if this was useful to you, I'd love a like, that would really help me out. And hit subscribe as well. I produce new videos every single week, helping funnel builders like you attract and close five figure deals. In the meantime, hit the share button uh, if this was useful and, and post it to you like Facebook or whatever on Twitter, that really helps me out and maybe you could help somebody else out in the same situation. I'll see you on the next video. Keep building those funnels. Smart funnel builders like you, you want to keep the conversation going. I'd really appreciate it if you went ahead and clicked on one of these videos and watched the next video. I've got some on how to stay motivated and also how I'm more productive every single day and how I manage my time. Those are just some extra little videos that I've got. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I'm Mike from Sell Your Service. I'll see you on the next video. Keep building those funnels.